Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning into another Super Tease video. And I know that you are all distinguished individuals in pursuit of the art of the Zug by clicking on this video in particular. We are going to be covering the Fury Warrior for Dragonflight. This is a highly feels good kind of dirty feels good specialization if you are aiming to pick this as your main or as an alt or just interested in checking it out at all i definitely enjoyed my time on this specialization so far on the beta you could say it was a smashing success for me uh, you're going to notice the addition of a lot of old school abilities from legion like the odin's fury a new incorporation of dragon's rage a bleed build for fury warrior a burst AOE build for Fury Warrior, a lot of new things to experience that it previously was missing at least rotationally, so a lot more highlight moments to try and be building up towards and aiming for regardless of the content uh, that you're going after, whether it be PvE or PvP, so it was definitely a great time in that regard. I'm really excited to try all the different possibilities and combinations that come with the new talent trees uh, that are available. You can see moments like right now going for the Odin's Fury and building up monstrous pressure towards the target that you're on. And in PvP, still bringing the Slaughterhouse Honor talent, the only class with a 40% healing reduction, makes you uniquely desirable um, in your pursuit of pushing rating, especially in the new solo queue, ranked solo queue environment. It's going to be a powerhouse of a specialization. Uh, I started dominating game after game after game as I got more experience with it. And the nice part about the new talents that I've talked about just a second ago was that your your rotation effectively changes entirely like in this i'm playing annihilator which replaces um your ramp or not your rampage your uh why am i forgetting your raging blow so you don't need to press raging blow you focus on bloodthirst and you focus on execute and with the new set bonuses that you've got on the first season of dragonflight these execute procs feel really good they just beef up your rage bar really fast they hit really hard and they're able to allow you to access more rampages for even more rage expenditure even more build up of damage uh, towards the target that you're trying to run down so it's definitely a big snowballing experience and it's almost like having to kind of almost relearn a new class just by changing the way that your talent builds um, are laid out so if you're worried about getting bored with it which is maybe one of my major concerns in the long term was is this going to be too simple of a spec am i going to be bored of this after some time um and then realizing like well i can have these different combinations of abilities go for more utility if i want certain situations and i'm probably not going to get as bored uh as easily as i had first thought that i would i there are some things to note with fury warrior if you're an experienced fury warrior moving into this uh, is that blade storm is no longer available to you really big blow um definitely noticed uh not having it also a lot of your utility something like piercing howl it feels really tough to give up throughput talents to go after something like piercing howl also with the loss of conduits where we're not going to have safeguard anymore on our intervene to provide damage reduction to an ally when we intervene which is also a pretty big loss um, maybe a bigger loss for our allies obviously uh, and the synergies that we get playing with other classes but definitely something to take note of for, in exchange for that you've got a much more complex rotation and kind of like dynamic of thinking about how you want to line up and sync your cooldowns at any given moment moment it's no longer just recklessness by itself you've got avatar you've got spear bastion you could have cooldowns that can activate other cooldowns at any given moment so you're going to be thinking a lot more in detail with how you're timing your attacks which might at first be a little bit jarring uh, but after you get into it you're going to start to see the power that comes along with maximizing that rotation like you can see right now getting divine shield from this paladin so early on and then just swapping targets mashing up bloodthirst you have huge sustainability huge self-healing um, on this specialization easily going to be one of the most powerful specs in my mind uh, whether it be for ranked solo queue or almost any environment um, of pvp and then with the amount of burst aoe with whirlwind the way that it works when you're going for aoe builds i'm imagining it's going to be strong uh, in pve scenarios as well as a result of the kit that it has been given in this example you have really cool unique counters to bleed effects now with the bitter immunity talent uh, which i'm running here just for a heal uh, but this also clears yourself of a lot of debuffs so you're going to be able to get more uptime on your target uh, as a result of this. You may want to maybe consider if, if you're going to be PvPing, possibly going after maybe like a gnome racial pick as opposed to an orc or a human because 
orc and human aren't as strong anymore and because you've lost bladestorm to get out of roots it may actually be better now to go after gnome so that you can get access to more mobility although even that might not necessarily be a problem because you can get access to double time short heroic leap uh, and storm bolt simultaneously which you couldn't before and i feel like fury warrior is benefiting way more than arms warrior at the moment just simply because of it well it's damage output i think is slightly higher as well as its self-sustainability it's just doing way more healing similar to what a demon hunter is doing and these are really valuable traits to have uh in pvp which is why i think it's outperforming arms warrior but i love this dragon rage build and then going for an odin's fury having our avatar also activate an odin's fury through talents like you get this double tap of cooldowns do i want to chain them together do i want to split them up use one now save one later for the kill uh, and this dynamic of how you want to layer your offense and try and get uptime still the classic warrior utility like spell reflecting polymorphs back onto mages screw mages and then fearing them out of polymorphs trying to take them out of the game and you know you cc on, onto our own hands uh it's definitely still got that core warrior feel uh that you would like to expect but with a nice little flavor twist of the old and the new brought together which is exactly where you would want uh, a, your spec to be in terms of picking for a main and the long-term investment of it being fun and enjoyable uh over the expansion so i feel like they did a really good job with this one uh in terms of feel and play style and obviously fury warrior maybe i was meaning at the start in terms of like being like super high iq or something um as opposed to other specializations but it's just a feels good spec has the core components that you can use to outplay your opponents intervening key attacks spell reflecting key abilities stunning and fearing enemies to try and control them at the the right moment trying to use your mobility both defensively and offensively to provide disruption to stop incoming spells as well as enable your team to cast onto enemies and then layering these cooldowns together with things uh, like the Odin's Fury, the Dragon's Rage, and the Recklessness to try and get this phenomenal offense and like this snowball feeling as you're playing through the game where you're just overwhelming your target and getting a little bit ahead, a little bit ahead, a little bit ahead until they're just completely overwhelmed and you dominate them. Just the fantasy of the specialization, the kit, the tuning, everything's really powerful, all fits together. Definitely, I would highly recommend this specialization if you're interested in trying out a warrior. Um, just insane momentum you can see it right here as i'm tracing down the shadow priest building up momentum on the target keeping the healer and crowd control just tunneling down the target charging in behind enemy lines keeping up the pressure keeping them always on the defensive if this is the type of mode of play that it, it you really want to go after this aggressive in your face momentum based then really fury warrior is going to be the go-to for you really satisfying and just like visual appeal in pve as well when you're just cleaving everything and aoeing and constantly just tossing bleeds out onto multiple targets i'm imagining it's gonna be a really good time just across the game as a whole so definitely recommending the fury warrior uh, at the moment after my little run through last night with it and a couple days of checking it out and seeing it over time it looks like a lot of fun and this looks like a good opportunity to try some other race combinations just because orc and human are going down in power there might be some other options that could be a little bit more appealing to check out like i mentioned with the gnome but some other ones could be fun as well uh, and if you're interested in those types of videos to know you know what's look what's looking good in the future um and tier lists and this type of stuff so you're always making the best decision for yourself i'm aiming to be that resource for you uh and i would appreciate if you hit the subscribe button so you never miss a beat with those updates and those videos um, but other than that thank you very much for watching the video i hope that you've learned something about the fury warrior in here uh, and it's given you some interest in it or maybe some disinterest maybe at the end of this video you decide eh, this isn't the class for me but at least now i know it's not the class for me and i can go check out a different one uh, other than that thank you very much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.